Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil where of course every day is a train show and you know what around this time of year we get all the award shows we get the Grammys we get the Emmys we get the Oscars but guess what we're gonna do an award show for people about things that we care about that's right we got the Devil Awards it is best rolling stock item seen on a modular layout. And the nominees are a double door box car, a 20,000 gallon general purpose tank car, a bath gone hopper, or Nicolas Cage. And the winner is the 20,000 gallon general purpose tank car. And look at that, we have them here accepting in the award are these Athern general purpose tank cars here and I have a bunch of different really neat look at colors here and then for our fans that like black and white cars I got a whole bunch of those too I particularly like that Santa Fe I think that is a great look there and of course we had the Burlington Northern Santa Fe let's take a look at this Penmex one that I have here and I really like the detail on all this that I see here you know everyone that knows uh, me and has watched the show knows I like a lot of color on my layout and I think this is a really neat looking car to have on your display Love all the different warnings that I have there, including the halves of this uh, chemical logo there. I mean, this is just a great car. And the tank car is one of my favorite rolling stock items. So you can get one, two, a hundred of these because I have a bunch of different row numbers too. Now, these cars retail for $49.99, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $39.99. It's a great deal to get on this award-winning Dabbler tank car. So congratulations for whoever gets this 20,000 gallon general purpose tank car. Our next Dabbler award is a very coveted one. This is the best rolling stock item seen in a drama or club layout. All right, and the nominees are a 50-foot plug door box car, a 500-gallon tank car, a rail gun, or Nicolas Cage again. Hmm. And the winner is, oh my goodness, the 50-foot plug box car. Check this out. Again, from Atherin here, this is the 50-foot outside post plug door box car. And I have the Reading there. I got the New York Central there, the Burlington Northern, the Lehigh Valley, and of course, the chassis system. Now, these are just great looking cars. Look, everyone needs a box car on their layout. I don't know anyone that doesn't have one, two, or a thousand box cars on their layout. I love this Redding look. I've always thought this is one of my favorite looks here for a box car. And they are very affordable box cars, too. Engineer Hall, do you wonder how, how much these are cost? A very economical. They're economical. Very economical. Yeah, well, gotta be. These cars, if I get my cheat sheet here, they sell for $34.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. So anytime you get a Rolex stock item for under $30, bucks, they could do something pretty good there. They do have nice metal wheels. They glide across your tracks. They're going to look awesome right behind your layout. So get this award-winning Dabbler box car today. And our next category, oh, this is a really good one, the Grumpiest Train Store Employee. We had a lot of great nominees. And the nominees are Christian, Bob, Frank, or Nicolas Cage again, man. All right. And the winner is Frank from Yankee Dabber. Congratulations. Frank, you wanted to say something? No. All right. Well, so much for that. All right. Well, our next category that we're going to talk about is best train cars used in a seasonal service. That's a good one. I know. It's a, it's a very, uh, you know, everybody wants this one. The nominees are A, a hot dog gondola. Sounds delicious. B, a grain door box car. C, a Russell snowplow. Or D, Nicolas Cage, man. I, he, he, he is getting he, a lot of nominations today. He did a lot of work this year. And the winner is... The Russell Snowplow. What a coincidence. We had the Russell Snowplow here to accept its award from Atlas. And these are awesome looking end scale Russell Snowplows. I think these look awesome. Now, you don't see a lot of Russell Snowplows out there uh, modeled and especially in end scale. And I think these are just great looks. They have great color scheme. I love that Ontario and Northland. That is a great looking one there. And then speaking of a hey, one that I just think screams like buy me right now, how awesome does that one look? I just love the colors on that one there. These are really cool. Now, a lot of people that live in the Northeast, of course, might experience some snow on their trains. And there's actually a lot of really cool videos on YouTube, if you look, of uh, people using a Russell snowplow to get uh, snow off of the track so they could get it serviceable for the railroad. 
Now these cars, if you take a look here, they are very nicely detailed, okay? The doors, unfortunately, do not open there, but you can push these along with a diesel locomotive or a steam engine, I guess, if you want, and you can mimic getting some snow off your layout. I think that's really cool. Or if you're really crazy, you could just put real snow on your layout and, and use it, see if it works. Let us know. Now, you might be wondering how much these cars are. Where is my cheat sheet? All right, here we go. So the uh, Russell Stovepile sells for $39.95, but we got them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. Again, it's a very unique item to have. I guarantee you probably not a lot of you have a snowplow on your layout. So I think you need one, two, or six of them removing snow on your layout today. So it's that time in the award show where we have a musical number, and I cannot be more excited to welcome to What's New at Yankee Dabbler, Lady Gaga. Uh, sorry, she wasn't in the budget. Can't afford her? No, no, I can't afford her. No, no, oh. sorry. Well, our second choice then, it says here, was the Rolling Stones. Uh, sorry, um, Publix didn't get back to us, so we, you know, that didn't work out. But go ahead, go ahead. All right, look, my third choice was the Barking Dogs that sing Jingle Bells. Did you get those? No, we don't serve kibbles a bit, so they, yeah, no. <sighs> well, this is depressing. All right, well, our next category then is Best Diesel Locomotive to Fit in the Palm of Your Hand. And the, cat, uh, the nominees are... A Z gauge steam locomotive, a T gauge diesel locomotive, a BLI ES 44 AC, or Nicholas Cage. And the winner is. Oh man, the BLI ES 44. And check out, I have not one, not two, but 16 different engines to show you here. These are part of the heritage units that we have here. I have the Pennsylvania. I got the Southern. I got the Great Northern. I got the Conrail. Then I have a whole bunch of more that I haven't taken out of the box because, truth, blah, quite frankly, it would be too long to do this. So I got the Union Pacific. I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. We got the Northeast Heritage Norfolk Southern. We have the CSX Armed Forces. We got a Santa Fe. We got the Law Enforcement. We got the UP. We got the uh, Canadian National. We got the Demonstrator Model. We have the Norfolk Southern. And then we have the uh, First Responders. And finally, we got the... What is that one? I don't even know what that uh, one is. Kansas, Kansas City, City Southern. Southern. That's right. I got a whole bunch of these diesel locomotives here. Now, we saw the HO versions of these edges, but now we got them in end scale. So for our end scalers, the wait has finally ended for you. You can get a Broadway Limited Heritage Unit running on your rails today, and I think you're really going to love them. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at this award-winning Yankee Dabbler engine in action. Because I wore the Conrail shirt, we're going to take a look at the Conrail. So all aboard. Here's the belt. Here's the horn. And here we What's neat about this engine is as I stop and take a look at the cab, cab lights turn themselves on, and then as I start it up, cab lights turn themselves off. That's pretty cool. Now, of course, this engine has Paragon 4 sound in it, so you get all the great Broadway limited features you can expect and more. That's a great sound to diesel locomotive, and truthfully, if you're a fan of those heritage units, I think you definitely need one. So the retail value of these engines is $299.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $229.99. Now I'm gonna say real quick, a lot of these engines, I only have one of. So if you're, this could be it that you're seeing here. So if it's something that you're on the fence about, well, I might like that Pennsylvania or that Southern one, don't hesitate because that engine could be out of here before you know it. I have a couple of some of the more popular road names in this area like Norfolk Southern, but some of those one-off road names like the Demonstrator model or the Southern, I only have one of. So make sure if you really want this engine, get yours in today. Hey, yeah, Winding down. down towards the end, but this is a really good category. 
Best locomotive seen in a run session slash shifting service slash Netflix comedy. And the nominees are the MP15DC, the S2 Alco, a GP9, or Nicolas Cage. And the winner is... Oh, I'm so excited, Engineer Hawking and I can save yourself. The MP15DC, and I have them from Atlas to accept the award. So congratulations to these engines here. These are some really cool-looking engines, and I really like that running. That is a great look there. I have the Southern, which is also another fantastic look here. I mean, truthfully, all these engines look fantastic. I love here, what is this, the Prairie Line? That is a really cool-looking one there. And then I have the NS, Norfolk Southern. We have the Southern Pacific with the bloody nose paint scheme here. That is a great look there. And then I have this one, Engineer Hall. What is that one? I cannot read it. I'm getting older, I guess. The LTEX Rail. All right. And finally, I have the FURX. These are just great looking diesel locomotives. And if you just do like a pan of all these engines, Engineer Hall, you're going to notice that depending on what the road name, um, you know, the railroad is different detailing so for example i have here the antenna off to the side but i have the horns on the cab this one's in the middle and it's up front i have a couple of different variations here as you can see in the molding here this one has a little bit of extruded smokestack there i mean these are just really cool looking diesel locomotives that you have a bunch of different variety in terms of the road the specific detailing now i have a couple of different numbers for these engines so say if you wanted to get two of the reddings to pair up i do have them here and these diesel locomotives retail for 304.95 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 229.99 i think these are shift um switchers that's the word i was looking for are really neat look at diesel locomotives and you know we all have a bunch of road diesels but you might need some switchers for some rail service here well let's check out these diesel engines and i think you know which one i'm going to showcase i got that reading on the rails let's start her up shall we That's a cool startup sequence. Is this the bell? Horn? Cool. Let's get started. You know what, while we're here, why don't we pick up the 10 cars? Let's see if I was able to do it on a curve. Look at that. Award winning diesel right there. You know what's even neat about that engine is it actually has people inside of it too, so they're operating that locomotive. This is a really neat looking diesel locomotive that I think you need on your railroad. So don't hesitate, get some of those MP15 DCs pulling trains on your railroad today. Well, we want to thank everyone for watching our show today. Let's do a little recap of all the items that we took a look in today's award-winning show. We had here from N-Scale these Atlas Russell Snowplows. These are really cool looking cars here. And then they had these 20,000 gallon general purpose tank cars from Athern. 
From Atlas again, I had these MP15 DCs and they sounded awesome. Then again from Atherin, I had these uh, plug door boxcars. And then finally from Broadway Limited, I had these ES44 ACs. And those are awesome looking diesel locomotives. I had a whole bunch of them. So everything on here, of course, is available at our website, yankeedapo.com. So type in what you're looking for in there, get it in your cart, and we will ship it out to you. And hopefully you'll be having a lot of fun. Now, of course, if what you're looking for did not show up on today's show, well, yankeedabbler.com always is continuously adding new items to be put onto your layout, and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun. So check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, to see all the latest and greatest new items that we have coming up in our store. And now the final category that everyone has been waiting for, that's right. That's YouTube Train Series. Here we are. All right. Our first nominee is What's New at Yankee Dabbler by Engineer Hall. I'm getting excited. Uh, we lost our train of thought by the Price Gouging Train Store. Hmm. Interesting name. Uh, Great End Scale Crashes by End Scale Train Crasher 66. Sounds violent. And finally, Nicolas Cage again for Eating Trains on Plates of Spaghetti. Interesting, but of course we all know the winner is going to be <clears throat> Nicholas Cage. What? On eating trades uh, with plates. Of Come on, man! I'm uh, losing my own how show. How this even happen? Yeah, this is our show. We rigged this thing. I rigged it, didn't you? This is rigged. I still Let's can't win. He's calling in. Nicholas Cage is coming in. Hello. Oh, all right, I won. Yeah. Okay, you won. Like this is totally stupid. Okay, what is your show anyway? Oh, it's a great show. Like, I eat, like, trains that I put in plates of spaghetti. It's, like, terrific. This sounds awesome. incredibly stupid. We'll mail it to you. Awesome. Well, this is stupid. All right, well, if you're not subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest videos that we have coming up and basically just seeing us doing stupid stuff like this. So for everyone here at What's New at Yankee Dabbler, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. So hit that subscribe button, buy a lot of trains, and most importantly, be, you know, like, let's justify this. Write in a mailing campaign to our phony baloney contest and say that we are the best number one train show. Right, Engineer Hall? Right. No, no, we had an email. We got to get right to the top. That's right. Although we did it, so I don't know how we lost. How we lost? He rigged it. I, I, I don't understand this. I've been made there three times. It is on high employees. Yeah, I'll... our guys voted for it. Wait, 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 wait. Is Frank's last name Cage? Is it? That's Frank. You voted for Nick Cage, didn't you? Frank! Frank!